So I don't know if you're like me, but maybe you're sick of the Mick resistance. And what do I mean by the Mick resistance? People claiming to be outraged by the stuff Donald Trump does, but they're only outraged by the stuff he says. They're not outraged with what the stuff he does. I just did a video. We showed you a video yesterday where Tim Cook, the head of Apple's praising Trump's tax cuts, which we know are horrible. That's your Mick resistance. How about all the Democrats going along with Trump's request for extra billions of dollars for war? Trump is such an existential threat. The Democrats gave him 80 billion extra dollars to go create havoc around the world with bombs. That's Mick resistance. That's Mick resistance. They just voted to give Trump, who they say is unhinged and unstable and shouldn't be around the nuclear button, they just voted to give him unlimited spying powers on you. That means every activist who stands up against him or the war machine or the CIA or Wall Street or anybody else that now Trump can spy on them. Legally, the Democrats did that. They gave this guy who's supposed to be unhinged. Oh, go ahead. They gave him, they expanded his spike. That's Mick resistance. Now they say they're also against his, his border wall. Really? Are you against his border wall or are you just against that Trump says it? Because here's Hillary Clinton being asked about that same thing. Hi, Secretary Clinton. I was one, um, wondering what you think about um, like securing the Mexican border with some of the illegal immigrants that come in. Just, just wondering. Well, look, I voted uh, uh, numerous times when I was a senator to spend money to build a, uh, a barrier to try to prevent um, illegal immigrants from coming in. Um, a barrier. Not a wall. It's a totally different word. Either way, we got to keep those Mexicans out. <laughs> Either way. Barrier's a little nicer sounding. It sounds great, doesn't right? it? Barrier, yeah. Those, well, barriers also keep out vapor. You know, you don't want to mm -hmm. get a vapor barrier. I have a vapor barrier in the studio in between the walls. And I do think you have to control your borders. Mexico is such an important uh problem mexican government's policies are pushing migration north that sounds like trump mm -hmm. they're not sending their best they're not sending their best that's a version of what she's saying mm -hmm. the, gov the mexican government is pushing those people up here that's what she's saying and she's worried about it she wasn't worried it wouldn't be worried if they were all great people right why would you be worried? There isn't any uh, sensible approach except to do what we need to do simultaneously, you know, secure our borders with technology, personnel, uh, physical barriers if necessary in some places, and we need to have tougher employer sanctions, and we need to try to incentivize Mexico to do more. If they Boy, she's really upset about these Mexicans wanting to come to the United States. She's got a million things she wants to do to stop them. If committed transgressions of whatever kind, they should be obviously deported. Hi, Secretary Clinton. <laughs> uh, here she is being asked by Jorge Ralhaus. Now, if you believe in building a wall, what's the difference between your idea and Donald Trump's idea on building a wall with Mexico? Well, I, I think that Everybody that I know of in the Democratic Party, and it used to be Republicans, too. As you now, watch all the talking that happens before she gets to the answering the question. Do you notice that? Watch all the talking. Well, I remember this and that. You remember that and this and that. Hey, the question. Yeah, if I was the candidate, we would have been on to the next question now because I would have been like, I don't support a wall. Yeah, that and was the, it. And that'd be like, I don't support No, we're not building a wall. Mm -hmm. Next question. Oh, Jorge. Who favored immigration reform also favored border security and you know that's ted kennedy it's obviously my husband president obama myself even you know somebody like president george w bush who we forget was trying very hard to push immigration reform and gave up i think too easily so yet we do need to have secure borders and what that will take is a combination of technology and physical barriers but you want to then yeah, we're going to technology and physical barriers, meaning a wall. And then he catches her and says, you want a wall then? 
No, we, we've already... You, you said that. Well, I voted for border security, and some of it was a fence. I don't think we ever called it a wall. Maybe in some places it was a wall. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pseudo wall, which, by the way, something else Trump said. Trump said pretty much that exact same thing. And uh, I, I believe know. it was 60 Minutes, where he was just like, well, in some places the fence might be okay. It's going to yes. be a wall. Yeah, same thing. So what she's referring to is the Secure Fence Act of 2006 which was passed by a Republican Congress and signed by President George W. Bush, authorized about 700 miles of fencing along certain stretches of land between the border of the United States and Mexico. The act also authorizes the use of more vehicle barriers, checkpoints, and light lighting to curb illegal immigration and the use of advanced technology such as satellites and unarmed, uh, unmanned, sorry, unmanned aerial vehicles. I'm going to guess drones. Mm-hmm. At the time the act was being considered, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and Chuck Schumer were all members of the Senate. Obama, Clinton, and Schumer, and 23 other Democrat senators voted in favor of the act when it passed in the Senate by a vote of 80 to 19. 80 to 19. Originally, the act called on the Department of Homeland Security to install at least two layers of reinforced fencing along some stretches of the border. So that's what they voted for. And that was her saying that, man, she was really stern about it, too, before when she was younger. She was, Rrr. and then Trump comes on the scene like, oh, well, I have to tone down my language because, hmm, it sounds shitty when Trump says what I want to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now I have to change it. That's back when they were doing NAFTA. That's back, anyway. Um, and just be, just so you know, Here's Chucky the Shoom. Chucky the Shoom, the leader, the leader, Democratic leader, top Democrat in the Senate. There is still bipartisan deal from Senator Durbin to grab to protect dreamers. Get this. And fund the president's full request for the wall. There's your resistance. So remember that time Hillary was for the wall? I do. And now I remember when the Democrats are for the wall too. Fully funding the wall. Do you think that people who voted for Hillary Clinton ever thought that the Democrats would fully fund the wall? Do you think people who voted for Chuck Schumer ever thought, besides Wall Street people, you ever think they ever thought that they would fully fund the wall? We went from having a clean DACA bill to now building the fucking wall for Trump. That's where they are. And as we go to air, uh, it's still up in the air whether the Democrats are going to stand up. But if the, this is the deal they're offering. So we'll, we'll know more about it later. It's interesting how Chuck Schumer, like, they all came up with this bipartisan deal that fully funds the wall. But Chuck Schumer and his elk will go on to tell us how they're, they're not sold on single payer. They're, they're, yes! not sure, they're not sure how we can pay for that. How do we pay for the single payer? Unreal. So I know it, uh, people are, uh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of having to show you that the neoliberals are only bullshitting when they say they oppose Trump. I'm, I'm sick of having to show you that. You're sick of having me to show. People go, oh, really, Jimmy? Hillary's not president. That's what they'll say. Uh, well, Chucky the Shoom is the leader, and I'm showing you the hypocrisy. And if Trump wasn't here, he would be saying that same shit. So um, please make sure you're subscribed. Please make sure you're subscribed, Jimmy. If you think you are, you're probably not. And come see our live show, February 16th. That's a Friday in Burbank, California. That's a Friday, February 16th. Link for tickets right there. Thanks for your support.